welcome for another session and here we have some assignment from a CASNE past paper that is the CIF examinations from which you're supposed to determine the mean medical salary of each county now we have two counties P and Q we've been given the grouped data for the salaries that is the grouped levels from 94 to 98 for example the group data the number of frequency the number of employees earning a salary between 94 and 98 are 20 so this is the frequency of this particular group data now we are going to use the shortcut method when determining the mean for this group data and when you use this particular shortcut method I want us to introduce an element to be known as assumed mean. Assumed mean is basically an arithmetic, uh, arbitrary mean. Eh? An arbitrary mean that is taken at random and we normally take it from the sample figures. Uh, so when you use an assumed mean using the shortcut method to determine the mean, so for us to get the mean which is normally x bar, we use this formula x bar should be equal to the a which is arithmetic uh, assumed mean or the arbitrary mean plus the summation of f d divided by n where f refers to the number of frequency or simply the frequency like in this case we have 20 appearing in the group of 94 to 98 then D refers to the deviation, the deviation from assumed mean, the deviation from assumed mean, while N in this case refers to the total of frequency, the total of the frequency. So we are going to get N when we add everything here. So when we add all these, you're supposed to get a number of 600. Now, we also introduce the element of midpoints in this case. And why do we introduce the element of midpoints? It is simply because the midpoints are going to help us to determine the true mean for this particular data. And for that particular case, the midpoints are also going to help us to determine the actual position of the mean. So how midpoint should be? For us to get the midpoint of group data, we normally add the two values, for example, 94 plus 98. So 94 plus 98 is supposed to be 192 divided by 2. Because there are 2, which we get 96. And this plus this divided by 2 should be 100. This plus this divided by 2 should be 104. The midpoint for this should be 108. The midpoint here is 112. The midpoint here should be 114. Here should be 120. Finally, it should be 124 for the midpoint. Okay. So we are not going to use the midpoint in the calculation. We are simply using the midpoints to approximate the position of the mean. Like in this case, we can approximate the assumed mean to be 108. Okay. So for us to get the deviation, it should be this midpoint, which is the true mean. Each midpoint minus the assumed mean. So 96 first one should be 96 minus 108 we get a value of 12 negative 12 okay then 100 minus 108 should be negative 8 104 minus 108 should be negative 4 we have 108 minus 108 should be 0 then 112 minus 108 should be 4 140 minus 108 should be 6. And then we have 120 minus 108 should be 12. And finally, 124 minus 108 should be 124 minus 108 should be something to do with 16. 
Then we get F, which is actually the product of frequency times D. So in this case, we have negative 240. Here we have negative 400. Here we have negative 480. Here we have 0. Here we have 560. Here we have 360. This one brings us to this is 360 again 360 again then here we have 160 so we are supposed to get the summation of fd summation of fd which is basically hmm, 106 one, one, 160 plus 720 plus 560 we get a value of 1440 okay then we minus this one from this negative value so we simply get the summation 480 plus 640 mm, 640 we get a value of 320 so we have 320 as the product but remember our formula was a assumed mean the arithmetic mean should be assumed which is 108 which assumed plus 320 divided by 600 it's supposed to be 108 plus by 600 supposed to be 0 0.5 0 0.53 so our answer arithmetic mean should be approximately 108.53